Hey everybody, welcome back for this video. I'm Tableau Zen Master Luke Stanky, and in this video, we are going to discuss the new modeling features in Tableau 2020.4. We've got three new model types to choose from. In the past, you could only select linear regression. Now we've got Gaussian process, which is really great for time series and regularized linear expression, which is if you've got lots of predictors that are all re linearly related to your outcome variable, it deals with multicollinearity, which is very common if you work in stats at all, uh, and a great way to adjust your model. And we're going to show you how to do that. There are currently two modeling functions available for calculations. That's model quantile and model percentile. We're just going to work with model quantile here, and we'll model the 50th quantile or 50th percentile value which is going to be essentially your model predictions so let's just get started we'll just call this model for now in the previous way that you just model your data you would just type out model quantile and then you'd specify the predicted value in this case you could say like 0.5 and then you'd have your target values in this case we're going to predict sum of sales and then you have outcome variables, which you have to aggregate up. So if you're working with dimensions, you have to roll it up, which means using the min, max, or the attribute function. So I'm just going to use ATTR, and then I'm going to just say date, trunk, month of order date. And technically, this calculation would have worked. And I think I'm just missing one more parenthesis here, and it still does work. So this is that base model that you could use and I'm just going to organize it here for you to take a look at this is the exact same but now there's actually another step for the model selection for you to make and that actually goes on the first line here before that per, that quantile value that you'd want to choose and you put in quotes here model equals in our, this case we could start with linear and if we choose linear and add a comma this will allow us to fit a linear model. I'm just going to hit apply and let's bring that out on our view. And you'll see there's our linear model that we're fitting across our data here. So I can just dual axis this and synchronize this axis. And that's our value there. We can fit other models. As I may have mentioned, there are three models that we can fit the linear model a regularized expression model, which is really great with multicollinearity, data that is overlapping. And I can just change one value here for this. And I'm going to just, instead of typing uh, linear, I'm going to say RL for regularized linear. And I'm going to hit apply. And you'll notice the model just changed ever so slightly in this case, um, working with not too many predictors going into this, but if I had a lot of predictors, I would want to throw it onto the inside this argument and continue that out. All these would be linear predictors too. That's a big component to take into account. And then the last model type that you can work with is a Gaussian process, which is really great for time series data. So if you are working with repeated processes within your data, like months continually showing up or quarters, and then also still wanting a linear component. You can do that with, uh, I believe, we're just gonna type GP here, and I'm gonna hit apply, and you'll see that, that model has now changed, and you can see the consistent process that's going from month to month, but also increasing year to year. So you can see sort of April here, right at this bend, very consistent in that Gaussian process. So that is the three different types of models. Hopefully this video has been useful for you. We've got a couple that we're releasing for this 2020.4. I just want to say if you are watching and you did enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel so that we can get all the videos out to you and out to others, frankly. So thanks again for watching this video. We'll catch you on the next one.